What's going on everyone? Welcome back to T3G. My name is Dalibor. This is App Spotlight, where we look into either do overviews or do deep dives into specific apps. I went ahead recently, well recently, some time ago, downloaded all of the apps from Nine Night, which we've talked about before, link up here. Uh, and today, one of those apps that we're gonna be looking into is Launchy. You ever wanted to shortcut everything? Coming up. So Launchy is kind of like Spotlight for Windows. Now Spotlight is the Mac OS search engine within the OS and then recently it's been added to and has some outside of uh, Mac OS features, you know, searching the internet, things like that. But primarily it started as a, an index of the system and you were able to search for whatever, you know, files, uh, applications, whatever. And this is what Launchy is. And what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna talk about kind of if Launchy is even necessary with the current Windows features and, and the things that have been added to Windows to kind of boost its abilities and, and give it some more functionality. So once it's installed, there are two ways to launch Launchy. Once you've got it running and once it, you know, let's say auto starts with your system, it's always gonna be in the taskbar if you so choose to show that there, that is an option. But once it's active, you've got two ways. Obviously, you've got the icon or alt space will launch it. Now, the cool thing about this is that it's got a couple different things going for it. You can change skins, which is always like a fun thing for me. I, I like to be able to switch stuff up. So there's a couple different skins. I like the note. The note's kind of cute. Uh, let's see if we search for word. Yeah, that's, that's cute. That's like a cute display of that. Uh, but I actually like the kind of black glass looks basically like Spotlight, which kind of, it's a nice clean interface. So I demoed right there what it does, right? It, it's just a matter of typing in what you're looking for. So for instance, I have a specific file. Now, caveat, I'm gonna show you this, but I'm gonna tell you why it works. I have a specific file that I have in the T3G stream folder. That's where I was kind of doing everything from, from the main computer. So if I do circuit board, right? It's really quick, it's a very limited list. So this is what, why this works. Now it has other things that it kind of, CIRC, C -I -R -C, circles, right? So, so if I do circuit, board, and now it's only the one result, right? So it's a specific wallpaper, it's just an image. But the reason this works is because I chose to add that specific location, right? I have, I have very, very specific locations added. Uh, I don't know if you were to add, you know, your C drive, if it would work. Um, I think this actually probably works best if you have a very specific location because I think that's going to be give you the most streamlined results. For instance, from the start menu, it's only looking for ink, which is icons. Uh, from this folder, it's only looking for images, right? So I can put anything else in that folder, but it will always only return results for those types of files. Here, I made it a little broader because I would be looking for you know, specific files, you know, documents, things like that. So I added different file types. You have the option to include directories, you have the option to include executables. So there's a ton of different stuff that you can add that kind of, it's, it's a customized version of Spotlight more than anything. So the cool thing is, right, I just showed that off and it works, it totally works. And what I wanted to show is that Windows does have the same thing, right? So for instance, the thing, first thing I looked for was Word. WordPad, boom, Word brings up the same exact result very quickly, and it's built in, right? It's not an additional thing you have to do. However, Windows indexes the entire system, and then it also searches the internet, it also searches the stuff, and it kind of puts it the initial results in one tab where everything's there. So if I search circuit board, right? I can't type right, circuit board. It Googles first, well, it Bing results first. Uh, so if, let's say if I, if I go to documents, so now it's giving me a ton of results, anything that is even remotely related, right? So uh, Belark, I'm sure this has some sort of, so this is an old, old system report from years ago, uh, but apparently on the report it says main circuit board and it found that specific file, right? So the problem with that is it's not finding the thing that I want, right? It's not finding that specific file. Um, so if I maybe do wallpaper, still not finding it, right? And that's kind of, that's the, that's the breakdown. How about if I get rid of that? Circuit board wallpaper. It Googles or bings, 
but it doesn't actually provide me what I'm looking for. That's a big drawback, right? That's a huge drawback. Windows search is way too broad and at times way too deep, right? It's searching within the files and that can be helpful if you're like, I don't know what the name of a file is, but I know what I wrote in it, like verbatim, I know what I wrote in it, then yeah, that's gonna be helpful. However, if I'm looking for a specific file, if I'm looking for a specific item and I know the name of it and I know where it's located, instead of going through and doing all that stuff, just for kind of quick access so that, so that you don't have a mess of the desktop, so you don't have to go and dig through the start menu, Launchy is actually kind of better, which is weird to me. Altspace again brings us back to the search. We're gonna go now look into some of the options that we have, right? So I actually chose to hide when it loses focus, so that's when we're, we're off of, so when we do this, it disappears, right? Now it's still running in the background. Let's take a look at what kind of uh, what kind of resources it requires. Uh, so let's see. We're here. We are in the megabytes. Uh, I don't think the search indexer. I think is the Windows one. Looks like about 36 megabytes of RAM. I'm okay with it. <laughs> it's not that. It's not that intensive at all. Uh, I think once. I mean, once it does the index, it's searching that index. It's not constantly searching the system. It's not constantly interacting with everything, right? So I like that, right? Underline match text. So for instance, now we hit OK. So now we hit just S I R C. So it's underlining there. It's showing what it is. It's going to be the first one and then it's gonna show you more, but I like that it's saying what it's searching for, basically. So if you find other stuff and it finds, you know, if that word, if that combination of letters is in the middle of a, a phrase, it's gonna show you exactly how it matched that. So I dig that. That's really, it's a really nice thing to, to, to have. Cause then again, you know what you're looking for and you know why it's showing the results that it does. It's gonna auto auto update the it's gonna auto update the catalog. Now this is gonna depend on how much changing you do. If you add files, if you remove files constantly, this might be something that you want to change and go up, go down, depending on how you use it. You've got options just like with Task Manager to always be on top. You to always display the launch window, launchy window. You got drag and drop options, tons of different stuff, right? This is where you add your catalogs. This is where you add your locations. Now there are plugins, so this is cool, right? This is a, a nice little interesting thing. So we've got uh, we've got Calky. So let's see. I believe that means that we can do 10 plus 10, 20, right? It, so you've got Calc, you've got Control. Now Control is going to give you Control Panel application. So for instance, if I say Device Manager, or Device Center, boom, right? It's it's already it's already indexed. It's already going to bring me to my devices. Um, you've got things like Webby where you're gonna be able to just automatically type a website, right? So you just say Amazon, boom. It's gonna open Amazon automatically without you having to open the browser, typing it in. I mean, it's little things in reality, but it can make your workflow smoother, faster, get to specific information much faster than you normally could. With the Webby, for instance, you can customize what the command is and where it goes. So if you have specific websites that you go to, for instance, if I wanna always be able to go and log in to the T3G website and you know create a new post or whatever, I can make that a shortcut and tell it to automatically launch that, take me to the to the, the back end login page, et cetera, et cetera. It can make things faster and easier just to kind of streamline the whole process. If you have a lot of stuff to do and a short time to do it in, the faster and more efficiently you can do things, the better it's gonna be. So ultimately it's gonna depend on your specific workflow. If you have a lot of stuff that you need to do in a short amount of time, like I said, this is gonna be a huge thing for you. For me, myself, right now, I don't need it, but it's one of those things that it's good to have in the back of my head when I do get busier, when I do need faster turnaround for specific things. If I ever get to a point where I need to get stuff done as fast as possible, this is gonna help out because if I, I can make it so that if I type podcast, it opens the specific template that I have for the podcast video and I can just drag and drop my files in without having to open Premiere, open that specific file. It, it just is gonna streamline stuff for me, right? So like I said, right now it's not the solution for me, but I'm definitely gonna keep it in mind. So what do you guys think about Launchy? Is it better than Windows Search or maybe just like a nice addition to Windows Search? Drop a comment down below. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you come back Friday for our gaming video, Monday for our tech review, which I know was delayed from last week, but I'll tell you, the final results on that audio, not the greatest. You'll see. You'll see Monday. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you in the next one.
documents, right? Now it's giving me every. What the 